The one seven nine uh, is up here uh, to do uh, pre-mobilization training for uh, yeah, our right mobilization to the Horn of Africa this year. Uh, we are going through all of our weapons qualifications and uh, uh, gated training to allow us to meet uh, the Army standards to get ready to deploy as a task force. Well, it's good because the training here is, I mean, it's rough, it's two weeks, and it's uh, snowy and rainy and muddy, and it's giving you kind of the worst of the wear. So if you get the worst of it right now and you train in the worst conditions, it's going to be better once you get to a place like Bliss where it's 75 degrees and it's really nice. And so that way you can kind of brace yourself for further training. We're doing uh, tons of different things every day from, uh, from individual tasks, uh, all the way to collective tasks and uh, we wrap that up here in about another two and a half weeks and then we'll be moving on to Fort Bliss for post mobilization training. So bringing a different platoon into a different company changes the dynamic in the way that like you bring up morale gives you a different perspective and makes us all better people together. Well, I would just say I would want people to know that that we are that I the leadership of the the Oklahoma Army National Guard and the task force are very thankful to the, the, the citizens of Oklahoma for, for providing us their very best and we're, we're going to take good care of them and um, they're going to do a great job representing our state and nation.